G'day everyone and welcome back to Derriere Farms. Um, we're back on Silver Run Forest and I mentioned this a little bit in my last uh, Timber Kings episode, but the train may actually be costing you money. And at the end of, after the end of the last episode, like I said, I had product uh, kind of here and there, so I rounded it all up and I put it on the train. And you can see what got loaded onto the train. It was a pretty full load. Well, not everything got sold. It turns out the train is, and I can't put this in the title or the thumbnail, but it turns out the train is screwing you, um, or chances are it's screwing you. You might want to check. Now, if you like to be kept, kept up to date on different goings on in Farming Simulator 22, whether it's Platinum Edition or the base game, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I do do regular videos outside of Let's Plays on how things work and what bugs may be costing you money. And this is definitely a bug that may be costing you money. So, this will be a fairly quick video. I'm going to jump into the game. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe because I do videos like this on a regular basis. So I will see you in a second. Okay, I am not going to be saving this because I do need some of the product. Uh, I don't want to sell it, so I'm going to do a reboot. I just want to see if I can get it to duplicate what it did yesterday. And you'll see what I mean depending on what gets... If the train does glitch, then you'll see what I mean. If it doesn't glitch, then... I will show you the aftermath from yesterday. Or yesterday's episode, earlier today. Um, I, I'm trying to figure out, and I have seen a couple of other people say they have the glitch too. Um, but nobody seems to be able to tell me what's causing the glitch. And I don't even know if giants are aware. Well, I'm sure giants are aware of it. But, of course, they haven't mentioned anything about, about what might be causing it, or, um, I mean, I don't even know if we're going to be seeing a, a, a patch before Christmas. I doubt it, somehow, uh, unless they surprise us, because they will be, um going on Christmas holiday fairly soon. Now, before anyone says any, well, let's get loaded up and then I'll, wish, we will talk about the various, what, I won't say the potential issues are, but what, I know some of the counter arguments are going to be, well, did you do this and did you do that? And, um, and I'll tell you whether I did or I didn't. Now, I didn't have a, a lot of, I mean, I could have spawned in some more stuff, but I really don't have time and I don't care. If it, you know, if it doesn't do it, like I said, we still have yesterday's aftermath to look at. So everything got loaded on, just like I did today, and then I strapped it down, and away we went. Now the only difference between yesterday and today, um, to speed up the loading process, I enabled the universal, not just auto load, but the universal auto load, which also turns the train into an auto loading system. 
which is why everything guts. If you look back at the beginning of the video and the screenshot, you will see how everything got kind of. Piled in such a neat fashion. Okay, so there we go. Normal, perfectly. Everything is good. Looking around, nothing much I would say was wrong. Unless, of course, you have already spotted it. And the reason I parked the truck there was in case I, for some reason, got glitched. <clears throat> anyway. Um... One of my pallets of barrels ended up up in the sky. I have no idea how to get it down. Um, I took a screenshot of that and sent it in. Sorry, not barrels, buckets, in case I got that wrong. And let me turn on super strength. Can't, still can't reach it. No idea how to get that out of the sky. And then, if we look further down, okay, it didn't really toss anything from today's train. Um, but it tossed a couple of my chairs, a couple more. It, didn't, it did not like my buckets. But it tossed them down the cliffside. And you have to either if you can get a vehicle this close well actually you can get a vehicle this close but if you don't have a pc and you're on console because i've seen it happen to console players too you may have to get a vehicle that can lift these and bring them out and put them back on the train tracks so as you can see so far it's adding up to a hefty little sum Now, if you watched yesterday, well, <clears throat> when I first discovered the bug and it was pointed out to me, um, no, I had never used the universal auto load mod before. Um, I had tried it out and then I disabled it because I really didn't like the way it stacked the product, but I was willing to live with it yesterday um, just because Okay, I'm going to use a cheat here. Now, I want to... Flight mode. See if I can get this out of the air, because it's bugging me. Oh, yeah, now I... No. stuck on it so it's it's well and truly stuck oh I got it somehow I managed I have no idea and I'm worried that now if I do get it down and it doesn't disappear is that going to cause further problems so I think I'm just going to leave it where it is and we'll disable flight mode I don't want I would love, like it's, oh, here we go. There, gone. So it's just a matter of getting it down low enough. Figured I'd just take a quick run around. I don't think there's any more. I mean, there's so much undergrowth that, uh, nah, I don't think there's anything hiding down here. 
I think we got it all. And again, it happened in the Let's Play um, yesterday. At the north end, there I found a couple of, uh, oh, what was it? Pallets of planks and a couple of pallets of metal. And metal's valuable. So, what's causing it to do that, I have no idea. But I just wanted to let you all know that drive to the end of the map. And then check near where the red lines are. And see if there's anything lying around. I'll zoom up to the north end of the map and show you where it is there in case you're not familiar or you haven't been watching Timber Kings. So on the north end of the map, it may, well, it's a little bit past the container loading yard. Uh, it's in the middle of these giant sequoia firs. And, you know, again, it was on both sides of the track that I found, uh, I found some metal and I found some planks and did what I did only because somebody pointed it out to me, sent me a comment um, that I even thought to check here. And since it's obviously not just a one-off issue, I thought I would make a video to make you aware of it. So, the other thing I think is kind of funny is that the train has now come to a stop, which it does sometimes and sometimes doesn't. Um, you know what's beautiful about this, though, when it does do this, is, um, a, well... I don't know if that's what maybe is causing the issue. This has happened a couple of times. And you can hop in the train. Even though I haven't hit the rent train. Start the engine and I can move forward. And or backwards. So what I have done in the past, sometimes to get free train service, is I'll just pull up to here. Or, well, since it's free and it's not costing me anything, I'll also go all the way to the other end of the map if I have to, depending on what I have to sell. Uh, and see, I have the option to rent train for $1,000 an hour. And just to prove that it's not costing me anything, you're probably, we will back it out and we will send it on its merry way. I'm guessing somehow the two glitches are related to each other. But watch, when we leave the map, we should not have a rental cost. There we go. And this is why I never really noticed it, because you get kicked from the train pretty early here, whereas it's further down here, it's around this area here, where the material gets kicked from the train. And here it comes from the other direction, like it should, but let's see if it stops anywhere. Yeah, it looks like it's going to stop right beside the Waffle Hut. And again, very odd because sometimes this happens and sometimes it doesn't. I have seen it happen once before on Aubeleron. Um... But I didn't need it. So I never thought to try it out and see if it actually worked or not. Um, because when you restart the game, if you reload the game, the train works normally. 
Anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know that the train may be costing you money by losing product. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Because it could add up. If it's doing that each time, well, not each time, but even once in a while, if you're not paying attention, it could start to add up with the amount of product that gets thrown in there. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Jay.